courtesy of the clap. Yes. Welcome to the Boys oh, Only Cast, the only <laughs> podcast where Curtis has the clap because he just admitted it. Um, oh, I'm Devin. Well, you're this not gonna is keep that part Curtis. Out. You're not gonna. You're not gonna tell everyone about that, are you? And Mikey. The clap only cast. Oh yeah. No. Oh shit. Um, because uh, I realized this, um, the other day. We haven't done this since like the ninth episode. Uh, this is episode thirty-three. <laughs> oh yes, we haven't <laughs> said what episode man, number it is. <laughs> man, what if like the last episode was actually like recorded first and we released them oh. in descending order? So it's like truly you don't know what we're talking about. But actually, yeah, we just release them because we're different <laughs> because of world events. Fuck. Yeah, world events. Like, <laughs> but we just release them at different different times. Like in February, we release like world on lockdown. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like twelve months late. <laughs> Or we could say it's out of order, but we just are really good and we can predict events very well. Yeah. Yeah. We just predict them a year late. Yeah. Like, you know, I think that's some pretty cool. cool or we stuff. just talk uh, generic enough so it relates. It's like, oh, no, that tragedy that happened overseas that that many oh, lives yeah. were lost. Rest in peace. I, I pray for the families. I, I truly know. hope they recover. And <laughs> I, I, just I, think... I pray for them. I, they'll, they'll rebound. They're strong. Their strong nation. <laughs> you know that event you're talking about, right? Recently in the news. Oh, yeah, yeah, I that saw it. The thoughts and country. prayers have gone out for them already. Like, yeah, it's terrible. All this stuff happens in other places, and people never talk about it. You know. Yeah, that place got decimated by that event. That was fucking crazy. That event was out of this world, unprecedented, yeah. you might say. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. I can't believe exactly you. Yeah, said. we also noticed there's no president. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So. Hey. He exploded since, too. Since we're cheaper by the dozen podcast, <laughs> there is a news story about cheaper by the dozen. Oh no! And that is the remake on Disney Plus has been confirmed to come out in 2022. I don't oh, know. Oh boy! I don't know <laughs> the people who are in it. I kind of I've never seen them in anything before. But can you send me a link? Yes, I'll send you a link. Oh, I just can't wait. It's so far off as well. <laughs> like, like Man. to announce yeah, something that's, that's okay. not coming that gets out for us the, two years. That gets us the fucking the views. Because people it's, are looking yeah, up cheaper by the dozen. We started before the show was confirmed, and yeah. because of our <laughs> persistence, <laughs> our lobbying for the show, they have decided to remake it. Can you believe it? Yeah, no, exactly. It's I mean, the, it's crazy. <laughs> the guy who, or the person who made Blackish. Yeah, and there's something in here that says like, although it wasn't a box office hit, it is still it is still loved and a great family movie. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole podcast about it. <laughs> I even love that they say coupled with Cheaper by the Dozen's name recognition makes it likely the Disney Plus reimagining will be a success. <laughs> okay, but does that mean it's gonna have original characters? Well, yeah, like, I guess this is just, like, a new thing that's separate from the movie. Like, it's a new family and everything, you know? It's a different family Is it going to be a movie or is it going to be a series? A series, i Oh, sure. what, what hijinks are they going to get into? Oh, every <laughs> week it'll be something crazy, oh, I man. bet. That's... <laughs> if it's a series, that's... Oh, no. <laughs> so that's cheaper by the dozen. Now, the big story, and I know, Mike, you want to talk about the Star Wars stuff. But before that, there's something that really mess with my brain and that is so i was looking at someone's twitter profile and they were kind of like joking around about stuff and then i saw a news article that said like toby mcguire confirmed for spider-man 3 and they said oh i just can't wait and i was like oh they're being ironic they dug up an article from like 2006 or 2007 and reposted it you know yeah. and then and then i saw it was recent and i was like what the fuck yeah and <laughs> like, you know something else um what? The character who plays Matt Murdock in Daredevil, um, what's his name? Fuck. Um, Charlie Cox. He's been confirmed for Spider-Man Three, and that's the Netflix Daredevil. So it's so, like they're finally crossing over the Netflix TV series and the MCU. I'm just like, what is going on with this movie? Like, so we have Tobey Maguire is going to be in it. Andrew Garfield is going to be in it. So there's going to be three different Spider-Man. So obviously, and then we have the Daredevil. Should. So, it's just like, what the fuck is this movie gonna? It's gonna be like I, the most jam packed shit ever. Like, what is this? Just like they don't need they don't need any character development for Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield though. 
That's true because they already have they already had their character arc in the other movies and people who have exactly. seen those movies already know that. Like I, I think mean, it's like it's Marvel like taking advantage of Sony's um like their into the Spider Verse because like it kind yeah. of like multiple universes kind of essentially it opened that up. So yeah, because you, like, you'd have like Toby as like the older one. Yeah, I think like now that yeah. like Sony did that, Marvel's like, oh, yo, it's actually it works perfectly because we also have Doctor Strange who happens to like be able to travel through dimensions, right? Oh yeah, that works too. Yeah, right? they're just gonna, and then there's gonna also the interdimension bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I, I still we... haven't seen um the second Spider Man with um. I haven't seen uh, it. I'm not gonna watch it. I have no Tom interest. Holland. I'm gonna watch it. I'm I'm interested, especially with like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal as uh, Mysterio. Oh yeah, that's true. But and also in this, this third intriguing. one. Now I hate that everyone's calling it Spider Man Three because I'm just like this fucking movie already came out. Like you see an article like every character <laughs> confirmed for Spider Man Three, yeah. and I'm just like, oh yeah, like I know. it's <laughs> obviously gonna be called like Spider Subtitle something with home in it. Home is gonna be in it somewhere. Will it be home verse? Yeah. Will it be everyone's home? Home for the holidays, like home for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, well, it's actually like, a holiday special. Oh yeah. My God. So it's really just about all the different Spider Mans and various characters yeah, having dinner together. Yeah, it's just it's a Christmas mashup. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're also gonna have the guy that played uh, Doc Ock in Spider Man Two in it as well. He was yeah, really good as Alfred Doc Ock. Molina, he was good in I that think. Role. Mo- mm-hmm. I, I don't know how his, how his last name is. Alfred. So, something like that. But oh, it's, Molina. Alfred Molina. I'm I'm just like, what is this movie? I hope William Defoe's in it, you know. But I'm just yeah. like, and then what, I'll, what I'll is obviously this? uh J Jo uh Jameson J J. Oh my god, he has to be in it. He like he was in, in the it. he was in the second one, so like obviously oh, that's right, right there. Oh, he was yeah. in the second one. Well, it was like more of like the cameo, like end scene thing. Oh, yeah, I remember I that. Okay, I remember when people talked about that. But yeah, I'm just I'm really confused about this. I'm really I'm very curious, like because to me this sounds like it could be a complete disaster, but they could definitely pull it off if they put enough care into it. Mm-hmm. Like there's but so much. This shit, is what I mean. You know, a f- like probably like about like a few months ago now. But remember our conversation about how movies are relying on a lot of nostalgia. That's exactly what this is. This movie is the perfect example. Yeah, like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. It gets both generations. Yeah. Like it gets the teenagers. It gets people the, our like age. The, and then people, the younger ones too. People younger who saw the Amazing Spider-Man, and it gets some, some people are attached to that if they yeah. saw when they were a kid. Oh, people and who um, saw, you know, Jamie Fox. He's returning as Electro too. Apparently, oh, was he? He was in the. He Amazing was in Spider-Man the Amazing 2? Spider-Man too. He was Electro oh, okay. in that. His character was kind of shitty, but like. Jamie Foxx did a good job because, like, he's actually he's a good actor. Right, he's just in a bad movie kind of situation. Yeah, bad sure. writing. But yeah, like that is like everything is nostalgia and and yeah, you're right. This is like multi generational now. Mm-hmm. And um and then I saw they're making a fucking Fantastic Four movie with Marvel, but it's like, Ooh, you know, really? this is the third time they've tried doing that. <laughs> so sure. we'll see how that goes. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's like now they're their first attempt that's truly interconnected with everything else so they could borrow characters yeah. they could borrow stuff so they don't need to like redevelop from scratch kind of who played uh the flame guy in the uh, in the first ones oh, oh uh um... he's captain america now Rest in... he's dead now though um yeah. johnny storm um chris evans yeah, Imagine right. if Chris Evans made an appearance as Johnny Storm. <laughs> that, that would be so <laughs> confusing if he was, yeah, he was both characters. Like, no, well, he's no, too busy. Thing. Chris I Evans mean, is too busy now. He's th- no, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> yeah, true. But this is uh this is spoilers for um Endgame, but Captain America, wow. like he he used he ended up living the rest of his life and now he's oh, an old man. Yeah, because he's an old man. Okay, I remember okay. Wow. I so about it's that. like it's the perfect opportunity to bring Chris <laughs> Evans back. <laughs> that would as, be so confusing. <laughs> It'd be hilarious though. It's like flame on. I mean, please bring Jessica Alba back. Like that. Okay, but a right. lot of a lot of superhero movies are just moving back into the fucking or moving into the like interdimensional shit. So I mean, anything yeah. can really happen at this point. They could do that if they <laughs> want. Two different versions. They should what? do that because they can. Ha- they have a way of explaining it, anyways. Yeah. So that oh kind like you kind of brought it up. What is your guy's opinion on having like these huge interconnected universes? You know, it's fun as a concept, but I would much rather have individual movies. I would yeah. much rather they pay respect to the franchise, like the property itself, like Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, 
And instead mm. of having to just put a bunch of shit in it, how about just focus on making a good, just solely Spider-Man movie or solely so Fantastic Four? You let's know? let's it's, say, what? How's your opinion on how they're doing with the with the Star Wars universe? How they're making it now, like a huge interconnected thing? Stupid. I don't. I don't really even know. I mean. There's well, so I mean, many the, of these series that it's almost like... But, uh, like, Star what? Wars is always about, like, the galaxy far, far away, right? For yeah, how I watch stuff, really it, do it doesn't make sense. But in a real aspect, yeah, it makes sense. Because, like, I don't, I don't want to watch, like, every single fucking thing because I don't have enough time on my hands to watch everything and connect it all and all that well, shit. Yeah, that's why they should have a casual path, like the main Star yeah. Wars movies. And then the other path, if you're interested in, you know everything that like i said is interconnected but it should definitely be that you don't have to watch everything if you want to watch the casual movies you know that's, like it yeah, shouldn't that's kind of what stopped me necessary. from like marvel movies yeah well i mean like even like marvel movies you don't have to watch all of them it's like yeah, yes so characters will make appearances from other movies so it's like who's yeah, that i like ones... that character i want to watch more of his stuff so now you'll watch his movies it's kind of like that's how they get yeah. you like if if you it's... only watch the avengers movies then you'll have a good enough idea well, yeah what's going on it's but it's also like the fact of like i don't there are certain characters i just it's like what if i don't like that character i'm like whatever i don't care to see them but now i have to see them in all these other fucking movies too well i would that's, say that's more superhero like the star wars one it, it can be way easier to like integrate it better yeah well i mean that's the thing it's like right now it's just a bunch of different stories yeah and that, yeah. that are kind of like loosely connected but yeah, the Star Wars one. I mean, we could talk about that. That's a whole thing. All there's so many of these. Like, what? What is it? Nine, nine. or ten TV yeah. series? There's gonna, yeah, there's there's gonna be ten. There's another one like a droid slay, I think. Wow. <laughs> and are, are these like a droid's life, but like a bug's life? Oh yeah. god, what time frame do they have on these? Um, like in the next like ten years or five years or something? They say or? within the next few years. Few years. And there's starting also tomorrow. A, there's also a Taika, uh, Taika Waititi Star Wars film in the works or series. I'm not sure what it is. That's gonna be a weird movie. Yeah, I'm excited he's, for that. He's such honestly. a weird director, like. Like, but that's that's kind of like a fun part of the universe, like the weird Star Wars. Yeah. Like, yeah, like there there is definitely a good chance to cause... make Star Wars really fun again with stuff like this. Like definitely the Obi Wan series is the one I look forward to the most again because of nostalgia. You know, we love. Ewan McGregor's Obi Wan and bringing back Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader, like that's some awesome shit, you know. Straight have you out. seen uh, Have you seen Obi Wan uh, jumping in on fuck what's his name, uh, General Grievous? But it's ASMR. <laughs> no, it's just some dude whispering <laughs> into a mic and he's just like, "Hello there." Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh boy. Because it's not even like ASMR. It's very poorly done. It's just really fucking hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, yeah like, um, all these other, like, like when Mikey shared the picture with all of us, um, and I was reading it, I was like, why the fuck are they making a Star Wars series called The Bad Bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I quickly realized I was wrong. I read that, too. But the it's trailer, like, when you, when you the just trailer's look at out it, for that man. show, by the way. Like, or all the teaser trailer. Is it just like a bunch of like stormtroopers or something who go off on their own? Or? Um. Well, in season seven of the Clone Wars, they introduce these characters. Like, uh, okay. They're they're like um. They're defective in quotes stormtroopers that have like augmentations that make them different. Oh. Okay. So like, That's I think cool. it seems like the idea of the story is like them finding their place in the post Empire, or like post Republic in the Empire. Okay. That's and like, I don't uh, know. Yeah. It it's gonna be a defective stormtrooper. It's just gonna be they're gonna recut episodes seven through nine into a new show, but put more focus on uh, Finn. It's gonna be the Finn, mo- Finn <laughs> series. <laughs> they're just gonna be like, yeah, a whole new show. <laughs> really, they just recut oh, yeah. seven through nine. <laughs> well, that'd be something. And there's also Rogue Squadron, which is cool because I loved the old PC and N64 game rogue squadron where you just get to be the rebels just flying around you know Mm -hmm. some space battles Mm -hmm. actually most of it wasn't in space most of it was on the planets but those are cool games so if the show is anything like the games then it should be pretty neat as well if it just focuses on like you know aerial battles and stuff and um the the guys who are in charge like dave filoni and uh john favreau like 
Dave Filoni worked on Avatar The Last Airbender, which was like a pretty solid series, if you ask me. Like, which what I've heard. I've actually never watched the show, I lied. I watched it when I was a kid, and I know a lot of people love it, but I don't know. I would never watch it again, you know? Like, Yo, I but... played the game on the 360. Well, that is clearly the best version of the show. Well, yeah, it, I played for a solid 20 <laughs> minutes because all you do is mash buttons and you get 100% on the achievements. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's one of the infamous. I know the entire ones. story. <laughs> I did not. Yes. G- wait, did uh, did I lend that game to you because I was the one that bought it? Uh, it was either you or my brother's friend. I I think I bought it from uh Big Ed's. For like... Oh yeah, y- you were the second time I got it after my first camp got banned. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Rip. Rip. Man, good uh... times. Cause you hacked your gamer score. Hacked my gamer score. My character was completely. Uh, just complete white, so there was no face or anything. He was just a blank avatar. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> when you would down, when I, because you couldn't trans or you couldn't just sign into an account easily because it wasn't on the cloud before, and you had to download Xbox profiles. Uh, my account was three and a half gigs because it had so much gamer score and game files it. on it. <laughs> yeah, you know my. 5 million gamer score I definitely got myself. Legitimately. <laughs> Somehow I all of a sudden surpassed like top 10 at the time. Yeah, man, like With Stallion 83 who... <laughs> man, it's crazy how they make so many like Xbox games like shovelware made just for achievements. Oh yeah. Just for boosting. It's like, it's kind of sad. Like, well, e- ah. even just like the whole like, you know, when I originally got 360 at first I was like, I gotta have good gamer score. <laughs> and, you know, you do things to get achievements and stuff. But I guess at the end of the day, these things have as much value as you put on them. Because yeah. you can just say, like, why give a shit? But then, you know, if you do give a shit, it's kind of fun as well to see it rack up, you know? Exactly. It's me. like a fun challenge. It's like, hey, yeah. like, oh, I have more than all my friends. Like, oh, I, I would always compare. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, especially, mm-hmm. like, individual games. It's like, yeah. Ooh, I'm yeah. better at you, like, because they got this achievement. <laughs> yeah, that's why they had the compare feature on profile, so you can look it's and be like, well, well this person hasn't now. finished this game. It's horrible on the, the one. Is it? Yeah. Um, The biggest, the thing I wanted, I've been wanting to do is, like, bust out my 360, get a, pro, a brand new profile loaded up on that and the Xbox One, and just see how much gamer score I can get in a year. Little challenge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is like a little challenge, yeah. Go back, play a bunch of old, like, 360 games, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Pl- you can, you can uh, play my copy of Bionicle Heroes that you still have. Yeah, that I keep meaning to give back to you. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it either. <laughs> what, what, I, I, I already want. have it on, on PS2. I literally just bought the 360 again. To, number one, to play it again. And number two, to get the the, the achievements. The achievements <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you 100% like, it? I almost 100%ed it. It's really easy. Bionicle Heroes is a fun game, but it's super easy to get all the achievements for. The best thing is, now, I could maximize my gamer score and get, like, two games where it's just, like, AFK shit, like Age of Empires or something, and play, like, 360, Xbox One, and PC all at the same time. Mm-hmm. And just, like, grind out achievements in three yeah. games at the same time. It would be super hard to get the achievements in online games like you, uh, you couldn't really get them all in halo 3 even though the no. servers are still up a good luck finding yeah. games now you know i w- that's i would probably avoid stuff like halo because halo i would sink too much time into trying to get a bunch mm. of achievements i would probably skip like halo i'd go with call of duty well, obviously just, just beat like the game on veteran on, uh, most achievements. the mcc has like what like eight thousand gamer score yeah so it's like it, you, you'd want to play it at least. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to, It's the thing of, I wouldn't just want to play Halo. I would probably like, just do campaigns on, like, Heroic. Not even Legendary. I just Heroic. Go through those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, even just, like, normal. Just grind through them fast. Play Gears of War uh, with the new account set as co-op while I play on my, like, actual Xbox account. Because then I get all the achievements for playing as player 2. Because the original Steams. two Gears of War games had those. You got it all figured out. It, I'd just be fucking game and... I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. It, January... Uh, you know, uh, Jan- January is always the time where 
again, you think about stuff like that, like, oh, I'm going to do all this in the year or I'm going to watch all this or do all just you always yeah. like to think about the stuff you can do all year. But then, you know, like a month in or a few weeks in, you just kind of forget about it sometimes. Yeah, but I could just turn that into a reason to like stream or something. Yeah, and I mean, you're playing games. It's not like you're doing something yeah. like, I don't know, fucking write a novel every month or something, you know? I'm playing so. like I'm playing like Assassin's Creed 1 for the third time on PC. Novel writer, so I can get the novel writer Simulator 2020. That's what he's playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What, what would that be? Like, you, you sit there and you decide when you make coffee to stay motivated or something, and you, yeah, you, just you, have, type. A part, you have a part where you go out on in life and research, or, or who am I kidding? You browse on YouTube to research. Yeah, and... you go through heartbreak. <laughs> life oh, we get to... Childbirth and death. <laughs> oh, it turns into a dating simulator because you yeah. decide that you don't know what heartbreak's like, so you, yeah. <laughs> go, it's you like, get uh, rejected. You know in Rick and Morty, like, um, Rory, the simulator? Well, I don't. But... <laughs> it's like that. Oh, fuck. It's like a, literally like a VR thing. You, like, experience a guy's life. Yeah. And oh. the entire game is to try to get a high score with age. <laughs> oh okay <laughs> so it's like you just do that like a life simulator and like that's what it is you just write novels yeah but it simulates other aspects of life because it inspires you yeah it's like anything you write in the novel has to happen to your character in real life so you have to go out and make it happen mm-hmm. it'd be really thrilling it depends on what kind of book you write you know if you write like a a heist book you know it's gonna <laughs> get interesting it's gonna be fucking i don't know payday 2 or whatever some shit like that oh i want to play payday Oh, it was actually fun, fun when game. I played it on PS3. That actually was Payday's a fun, a fun game. game. It's just like it's so not broken. fun to play solo. Yeah. And yes, and I did. I did it's play broken. it solo. <laughs> I Man. what me and Mikey remember played that time? Ta- yeah, that we were doing the jewelry store heist. We literally just ran in like dicks out, guns blazing, yeah. and oh. like we broke no. everything. And it's like no one called the cops, but everyone was alerted. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like just no one called the cops. <laughs> The game broke. We had like the, no, we had the game broke because we had like the question marks and the exclamation marks all over the screen. Yeah, and like, nobody oh. was reacting to it. Like the <laughs> everyone, we didn't like there were no hostages. They all just got down on the ground and didn't move, even though oh, when you leave enough. them alone, they they will stand up and leave, and it just that entire mission broke. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Or shit happening. or we had the hacker, hmm. the uh, dude who had like. Uh, what was it? He had like unlimited ammo and unlimited drops, and he just kept dropping everything. Yeah. Devin, we should play that again, honestly. Yeah, that'd be fun. Get back into it. Curtis, get a, get a computer. Get a good computer. Yeah, they they could run Payday Two. Yeah. I wonder if I I wonder if my new laptop could run Payday Two. I, wonder I don't know. What are the specs of your laptop? I'll check the specs on Steam right now. God, I don't know. His I was looking at his. It's he's got a Ryzen three. It should be half decent. Um, I need to update just... Steam, of course. Fuck. I, I'd have to sign in, so I can't even... How much does it cost? I will gift it to Curtis. It's oh not God. too much. To I need to update Steam, so I'm waiting. <laughs> so like, well. I just went on the website. I just Lay web. Googled it. Like Google. I was born January 1st, 1978. Uh, 1901. It's, it's literally 1150. <laughs> 1150. That's nothing. Yeah. Is that with the DLC? Uh... No. Uh, DLC, well, this laptop has. DLC. Now, granted, DLC's I don't really know what, what this means, either, to be honest. Yeah, true. Just wait my for new, a Steam sale. My new laptop has a Ryzen 5. Oh, it has a Ryzen 5. And 8 gig RAM and whatever. Yeah, your laptop could probably run it. I mean, yeah, it's not like it's an old game. Well, it is an older game now, I mean, so it's not like it's like a brand new game. Yeah, and it's, it's like it's not demanding. Old. Yeah, because it runs on Source Engine, so it's. Uh, Sure, January first, nineteen ninety five. That's my birthday, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I got my first laptop in two thousand twelve, um, I was able so to run Far Cry three on it. The minimum so, is uh, the processor crazy. two gigahertz Intel du- dual core, four gigs RAM, uh, Nvidia AMD five twelve megabytes VRAM, and yeah, see that's the problem storage. is the fact that he doesn't have like an actual Dedicated graphics card. Graphics. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that's right. But I mean, it's only like, like five twelve megabytes, though. Five hundred twelve. On I, mean, I bet I can't. Think it'd be I bet anymore. like one of our other friends have it too. So on a Friday, we can just play Payday. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, like surely, um, Adam has it. 
Yeah. We might have to do this, son. Shout out Adam. Yeah, shout out. He, he listens. Shout out the homie. <laughs> yes, it's he actually listens. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, buddy? How's your day going, bro? If you're hearing this, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Wow. Why are you wearing that striped shirt today? You know, the green one? Why are you wearing <laughs> the that? The green one. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, the green one. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about because what you don't? <laughs> no, you, you just remember everything, and I don't get how. Oh, I barely well, remember what, what I did this morning. I don't know what I did this fucking morning, and you're just like mm, 1872 when I woke up and had a bowl of cereal. <laughs> it was yeah, my the, the the bright bright crisp early morning of 312 when I woke up. <laughs> 312. <laughs> 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 Yes, this is exactly how I'd recount it. How did you know? You really got into my head for that one. Because that's how you talk. We know. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Man, I haven't watched any Christmas movies so far Good. this year. Yeah, Ooh. it doesn't feel like Christmas. Well, it doesn't. And it kind of gets to the, maybe it gets to the point in your life where you're like, I've watched this movie enough. I don't have to watch it every year. Yeah. You know? Like, I was thinking this year, maybe I'll get in the Christmas spirit. But then I was like, nah, it's too much effort. It too is. much effort. <laughs> yeah, it's like man, I, I was putting these lights in my room on the wall, and they kept falling, and I was getting really fucking annoyed. That was a lot of the fucking lights work. Are gone. No, they're still there. Oh no, I just oh, jammed them in the good. roof. I mean, I have like my decorations up, but you know, we put the tree up last week, and but like I haven't even felt like like when I listen to my records, like have a record night, I haven't even felt like putting a Christmas album on or anything, you know. Well, because but, uh, it it's fucking rained where we live. Yeah, yeah, it was really well, good. Sometimes, was sometimes you're not always in the mood to listen to the Charlie Brown Christmas album either, you know? So. Oh, yeah, I, I know that <laughs> feeling. Sometimes I'm really You know that feeling when you're it. like, I yeah. really want to listen to Christmas Time this year and all the other great songs on that record? It's yeah, actually totally. a really good album, man. I fucking yeah. love the Charlie Brown Christmas album. It it's so really good. weird, though, the fact that, like, it's December 13th and we're normally in, like. Yeah negative 20 to 30 degree weather uh, i have a feeling yeah, we're gonna have well i mean it's minus 15 today or minus eight right now it was chilly i mean yeah but we've had it by before the it gets it gets we've, we've yeah. had we've had a green and white christmas before as in like seeing grass and stuff like that you know mm-hmm. i don't get why and then like it, yeah the but then the but when that happens <laughs> when that happens our january is like are absolutely fucking brutal though yeah. exactly. exactly so it's like yeah. it's just coming man Mm-hmm. Uh, nope. We're just gonna have sun. Yeah, global warming. Yeah. yeah. Shout out. Oh yeah. Th- this I mean, is, not uh, shout out. That'd be that'd be really bad if we went from like negative oh thirty God. weather normally to just <laughs> fucking no yeah. snow. <laughs> that would prove something my, bad's happening. My dream last night. Um, for some reason, my grandma was over and I was upstairs playing Sonic Three. Okay. And I was scrolling through the load screen, uh-huh. and trying to choose a character. And for some reason, I could choose Eggman, but the only problem is I couldn't turn the volume of the TV down, so it was playing super loud, and I was starting to get stressed out because I couldn't turn the fucking volume down. Like, no matter what I did, I couldn't turn it down, and it was, so, and it was blasting Angel Island Zone's music so loud. And then when I woke up, I was still I was still feeling stressed from my dream when I woke up, and I was just like, oh, oh God, I can't turn it down. And I was like, oh, wait, I'm awake now. So, <laughs> like it took a few seconds. So was it a dream or a fucking nightmare? Because you're explaining it like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Yeah. Could turn like, the volume like down. Turned, it was just so loud. <laughs> it's like I turned a simple dream into a nightmare or something, man. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> sometimes oh those God. happen, you know. Well, sometimes I do have dreams like that where I wake up and I still feel crazy. Like I did, I didn't sleep and not like I didn't wake up at the right part of the dream, you know. And I'm still like, oh God, oh no, <laughs> oh God, why'd you turn into Elvis? <laughs> oh God, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> oh God, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're fucked. Tell me Honestly, what, what do you do before you go to bed? Like last night, I was reading take? the book "Kiss and Sell" by Chris Lent last night. It's yeah, me kiss. too. It's about Kiss. Uh, Chris Lent? Yeah, yeah he, he was the fucking financial advisor of Kiss, and this book is about uh. his experiences in the band. 
It's exclusively oh, for us to know weird, that uh, <laughs> it's actually just their financial details. statements and all that shit. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. You know, since I'm going to school for stuff like that, I I need to read the financial statements of Kiss. So hey, Curtis, because and... because he's a uh, in a in a popular band, does that mean we should know who that who their financial advisor is? Yeah, you, everyone should know yeah. who Chris Lent, financial advisor of Kiss. Yeah, is, just like right? how everyone should know fucking Flea. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone has to listen to my point of view on this story, okay? You're so we were idiot. playing Scriblio on Friday. Uh, okay. Us and then Scriblio, two other friends. Scriblio is like the draw with your friends where it's like you have to draw a word and they have to get – it's like Pictionary, I guess, kind of. Yes. So my draw, word was flea and, I, and my word is flea and I'm like, okay, flea, you know, red hot chili peppers. Everyone knows flea from red hot chili peppers. So I drew – a guy with blue hair playing bass with a sock on his dick. And I was like, everyone's going to know this. And to make it even more obvious, I put California rip on top on the picture as well. One person knew it. <laughs> yeah. But so you guys. The, so in our group, like, the only other person who got it was the only other guy who knows stuff about those bands. <laughs> Yeah. Well, to and me, there's it, me and Mikey who have okay. no fucking clue, and Chris just doesn't so, draw anything else. <laughs> and 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 sometimes I gotta realize, okay, like to me this is obvious. I don't even like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I don't listen to them. Yeah. So but, every, like I know, but Flea. that means everyone else. Just like just like I know, um, Les Claypool and Getty. Well, I lo- I like Rush, but you know, just like other random people like that. <laughs> so I'm like, this is obvious. I mean, I know Gene hair. Simmons because you had a TV show. That's it. Yeah, like he put his name. Gene put his name out there. <laughs> Man, I yeah. love Gene Simmons TV show. Yeah, that's why I, I love him. Gene, Gene Simmons. Fan I don't. Know, I don't know why he got his own TV show, but I'm sure. I'm sure glad he got one because he's a good guy. <laughs> it just ended up working out yeah. at the right place at the right time. You know. Have you Have you seen how bad the the Ozzy Osbourne show has gotten? Oh God! It's basically him well, just literally walking around in just massive hysteria, Aussie, <laughs> not knowing what's going on. I mean, Aussie show, like, Aussie's fucked though. <laughs> Aussie show is what got Gene to make his show. Like because but the think, Osbournes was successful, Gene was like, "I can make a show." That was successful, and then D. Snyder from Twisted Sister tried to make a show, but nobody gives a shit about him, so it didn't work. Remember when Hulk Hogan had a show? No. What? Yeah, he just had his own fucking reality show. What about when Vanilla Ice made a home renovation show? He still does. He still does? I think so. Or they just I thought maybe. <laughs> What's wrong with renovating weird. houses? It's a profitable it's market. It's Vanilla Ice. So? <laughs> yeah, it's vanilla. Well, he had to find something else to do, obviously. He yeah, he needs a career other than life. music. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And he maybe sorry, he just happens to be songs. good at building houses, man. Oh, here if he was the good, good if he was go. good if he was a good accountant, would you be like surprised be like, oh, "Yo, I'm Vanilla Ice accountant." <laughs> 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 I'd hope no, he called you himself. Would... He'd call himself his fucking real name. So hey, on what, IMDb, what real name? um, Hogan knows best was the show. Oh, okay. Um, oh, it I mean, just... it sounds vague. That sounds vaguely familiar. It was two thousand five. Four point eight rating on IMDb. Yeah. Um, out of ten. It technic on IMDb. It says it's never ended. It just says two thousand five to blank. Um, oh. But the last episode was in 2007. Because it might just come back. Even though there's an yeah. article down there that says why Hulk Hogan is done with reality TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and everyone hates him because that... Well, the whole... Yeah, a while ago, yeah. That the was whole the dropping the N-bomb a while back. Yeah. I and the, uh, the sex tape. Mm. Yeah. I don't <laughs> know. Who cares? Everyone G- in Hollywood's Gene Simmons got. has a sex tape as well. Yeah, but that's not surprising. No, it, it isn't. You <laughs> think there'd be I'm... more from Gene and stuff like that. Like, He's someone who bragged. Not only did he brag about how many girls he slept with, he took Polaroid pictures of all of them back in the 70s. Isn't? And he, he, had like a, he had like a book that was a collection of all the Polaroids he took of these girls that he was with on the road. Did he ever yeah, actually get weird. married to, uh, what's her name? Yeah, they Shannon? got married like, they got married, I don't know, in the last 10 years. He finally yeah. decided that because they were always just like, married. ah, she's my partner. Yeah, yeah he like, had some well, weird well, thing against Wasn't marriage. that the running joke in the show? It's like, oh, I'm his girlfriend, yeah. not his wife, or something like that. Yeah. If mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken, the last episode of the show was their wedding or something like that. Because <laughs> they realized the, the show was over. <laughs> yeah, and they were just like, oh shit, I guess we got to get married as a gimmick. 
you know, to get the show a good conclusion. It's the good ending to the comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the thing with, like, what was even, like, the real big thing that happened in fucking the Gene Simmons family jewels? I don't know, they show. just did a bunch of different kind of things. Yeah, it wasn't anything like the Osbournes where it's just Ozzy's fucking randomly drunk going on a tirade every fucking two days. There's some episode I remember where they were like, Gene got some kind of surgery to make him look younger or to something about his hair some and showed the process and it was really weird. Oh, is that when they both and got fucking like facelifts too? Yeah, that's what yeah, it was. I remember that. And there's an episode where he jerked off a bull. <laughs> One where he went skiing. It, it's just kind of like, watch me do all these crazy things, kind of, you know. And because Gene is a Gene is a character, he puts on like the sleazy, money hungry kind of guy thing. I mean, I, that's probably exactly who he is as well in real life. Yeah, to be fair, he he, puts he that made on. a reality yeah. show, so yeah. probably. You got to make money. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. And he did. So, you know, the kiss casket, get buried in it. That. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, um, let's let's start a GoFundMe, Curtis, for your casket. It'll be the oh, kiss casket. No, I don't want to. That's so morbid. <laughs> oh my god, it's it'd be even worse if you guys made it because it implied that you're gonna kill me. So <laughs> no, once the like, GoFundMe is complete, we'll, you get we'll to just get it ready. <laughs> we'll get it ready. Oh, <laughs> I okay. hear I hear they're very comfortable. So it's like worst case, you just use it as a bed. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah so it's easy casket. to transport. It's easy to transport him into it when we kill him in his sleep. Yeah. <laughs> just, if uh, I'm not just mistaken, fun. Uh, no, as I say, if I'm not mistaken, the casket originally came out in like 2000 or something like that, and they have a few different versions of it. This is like their biggest thing that, pe- and there's also Gene Simmons condoms as well, obviously. Mm. Like tongue, I think they're called. I think the box says they're like tongue lubricated. He lubricates them by so. tongue. <laughs> yeah. I mean, man, that's crazy that he would do all of them, man. Now oh, my God. Business. This old site that Devin a, just found. He was a businessman doing business. Doing business. <laughs> this site. This site is something else. De- yeah, Devin found a site for the casket from, like, 2001. <laughs> $5,000 signed? What's that fucking now? That's... Oh, God. I want to find out when this website's from, but... Jeez, 2001, dude. it says up top. Oh, wait. wait. What, what is that website, man? Oh. Well, that's when that went on purchase. Okay, so 2001. Uh, I don't really care if it's fucking... That's so funny to me that, like, hey, you're dead, but Gene will sign your casket for another $500. Okay, like, so 2001. It's going to be minimal. It's not going to be a lot. No, I can't imagine it'd be a lot. For 2001. So if it was 5000 it would be, yeah, about two seventy three. Seventy three hundred bucks. Okay, I mean that's so still like two thousand three hundred increase. Yeah. All right. Solid. So we're, uh, yeah, we can we can afford that. <laughs> but has Easy. the uh, minimum wage in America increased? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> so Curtis, uh, what year do you think we're gonna need the kiss casket by? Don't I don't don't I don't even want to <laughs> say that. I don't even want to participate Matt, in this conversation. If, if, if you guys had the opportunity <laughs> to have a countdown above your head that says when you're gonna die, would you? No, yes. <laughs> I wouldn't want to know that. I wouldn't want to know would. that. Can I beat and it's like, the timer? Just, <laughs> just imagine you do something <laughs> kind of risky and timer. dangerous. It just jumps down like ten seconds. It's yeah, like, or, uh, or like you eat, or like, you eat something unhealthy. It's like it goes down a minute. <laughs> Or like Mikey, when you're doing your thing where you jumped on that rock, or something like oh, that. Yeah. Like you're doing, you're doing something risky like that, and you can like look at your timer to see, okay, am I gonna die here? Oh, we're good, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, if oh, the my... ti- what if the timer was glitched out, and so as soon as he jumps, it changes? <laughs> my heel oh, is yeah. still sore from that. That was like three weeks ago, wasn't it? Four I know. Ago? Yeah, it's it's better than what it was like two weeks, so it's healing. Oh, sorry to let you know, so but you have happen. herpes of the heel. Herpes of the yeah. heel happens from impact. Yep. Okay. How else would you get it? Yeah, it's fair enough, man. Well, yeah, I'm. But yeah, that's I'm like a doctor. You guys remember? 
you guys remember like 2010 and people have that on facebook like this is the day you will die take this quiz or whatever to find out you say 2010 or, uh, i swear that was like 2017 people were still posting that remember like well, the 2010s when i remember seeing it I remember, the death clock every, yeah everyone's like oh death clock it's like that's when the world's gonna end or something doomsday clock fuck that's what it was. oh oh yeah doomsday so every in like 2012 months. or when the rapture was announced yeah. in 2011 there's a lot of them, man. Who knows? Oh, yeah, every three yeah. months. Every, yeah, every, every months couple of years. After. It's like, yeah, there's like Y2K. Surely there's something else. And then like there's like 2012. I'm pretty sure there was one yeah. like a year or two ago, but it just got immediately turned yeah. into a meme. So nobody cared. Every, yeah, in like, every in now and then. Yeah, in 2016, there was like mystery planet X that was going to collide with Earth. Yeah, and it just oh. turned to a fucking meme. Oh, yeah. Nobody fucking cared. <laughs> And there's also like every every year there's something like big asteroid is heading for Earth. It's like, like this massive yeah, fucking thing. Yeah, it's coming towards us. It's gonna be within a hundred like... million thousand miles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're always like, Oh, that's so close it could impact. Like not really, yeah. but okay. It's like yeah, if like something happened like millions of like millions of miles away that changes trajectory. Yeah, but like <laughs> it's still gonna miss mm-hmm. us, like by a lot. It's right beside Earth and just pulls a fucking ninety degree <laughs> sharp. It's right, man. Fucking... It's like uh, it's like the Tokyo drift, or Tokyo drifts around the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> As it's going by, you hear the you hear the song. Oh my god! <laughs> and then, it's like, like and then he just if... goes off back into space, and it goes to the set, and the music like slowly echoes <laughs> off. Fuck. Even if like theoretically a giant asteroid's coming straight for us, wh- what's the Earth gonna do? Fire fucking nukes at it? Like, uh, what was yeah, the thing? Ah, what was the probably? Movie I don't know. They f- <laughs> there was a movie. They <laughs> flew a rocket ship. The plan was to fly a rocket ship into it with the thrusters still going, so it would just push it somewhere else. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that'll work just fine. But then it just like <laughs> crashes into it and explodes because what else is gonna happen when you? I mean, surely it would be fuel. easier just to put a bunch of rockets on one side of Earth and just like slow the rotation or slow the. Uh... <laughs> but then when? <wouldn't, laughs> just make the fuck... years a little longer. Wouldn't that fuck, fuck everything? Up? Yeah. Because ah, then whatever, the whole solar. It, it, it's like that thing in uh, what's that game? Fuck. Uh, universe sandbox where you can literally just get the solar system you slide a planet over like a few like a certain amount of distance and it just throws the entire rotation out of whack and everything uh, yeah. starts oh. floating well what's what's worse throwing the rotation off or the entire planet being destroyed you know i guess we gotta just consider stuff like that yeah but what about <laughs> when you do that and then all of a sudden the moon's the a different destroyed <laughs> the moon's yeah, gravitational the pull gets waves. fucked up and it just pulls the moon into the earth Oh, well, then we can have, like, a nice little addition, nice little acting. <laughs> well, nice little boil. It's well, a I tumor mean, like, on her. <laughs> well, yeah. you, you, uh, you ever hear, like, the origins of the moon was, like, parts of, uh, like, an asteroid that hit Earth and, like, Earth split off and formed it. So it's, like, technically right. it would be homecoming. So, like, we'd be bringing homecoming. it back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bring back the moon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make Earth whole again. <laughs> Make Earth what's uh home. what's it called what's it called uh when all the continents were together pangea, pangea. pangea. This this bring back pangea. Pangea. <laughs> do you fuck with the war <laughs> <laughs> the little dicky references oh my god oh god Man. sad that that's not still a big it's thing. Cr- it's crazy like was there something before pangea water water <laughs> No, I mean, so, like, it's, like, literally, it's just, like, they all came up then, they emerged, and formed Pangea, and then just split apart. It was, um, wasn't it, like, particles underground were, because there was volcanic activity underground, didn't that eventually just create, it kept, like, exploding and then hardening, and it just kept making, isn't that how it would work? I don't know, I don't know actually fucking anything. Let's just Google we all anything. Fish. Actually, uh, yeah, isn't that? Oh, that man, like that's actually crazy. Like plate tectonics, how they're constantly moving. Um, there's a there's something in Russia called Lake Baikal. It's like one of the the deepest lakes in the world. It's like it has like the most amount of um, most amount of like water in it, like mm. compared to like any other lake. It's like uh, it's like on the mountainous area of like Russia, like uh, close to Siberia. Yeah, and um, it's between two tectonic plates, and those plates are like kind of 
kind of going apart, so that lake's actually getting bigger and deeper. That's fucked. So it's like eventually, like hundreds, thousands of years, like how big is that gap gonna be? Like, will it be like a whole new like ocean? Will it be a con- like will it be a, like a new like ocean like block thing? Will Russia be two countries? Or well, I mean, it's not really on Russia. It's like more on the border. Well, you uh, bring back that. Russia. I looked this up. Um, before pa- yeah, it just says Earth's land mass is ripped apart and smashed back together. <laughs> oh shit! Why? Why did that all of a sudden stop? <laughs> Imagine you're just like yeah. sitting at home. All of a sudden, the entire Earth <laughs> fucking like rips apart, slams back together. And then you'll still be sitting at home. You'll just be like, huh? Oh. That's what an earthquake is. If you don't look out the window, you don't see it. Just that rips apart, and slams back together. Well, I mean, this isn't this isn't true because, like, I mean, God created everything, right? Like, none of this science shit happened. Yeah, true. Like, yeah, that's just dumb. Like, what, what the fuck? You're talking about plate tectonics? That doesn't make sense. It's crazy though, like plate tectonics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> it's insane, actually. Like thinking about it. Yeah. Like just you like know, these but... massive like di- like these massive rocks crashing into each other like bumper cars. You know what made? Yeah. You know what made plate tectonics though? <laughs> the Lord. The <laughs> Lord. <laughs> the Lord intended those. He moved yeah. them like bumper. He was playing bumper cars. He was actually. Playing bumper cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and um, you know how a lot of North America is like bedrock or something? Like it's like more hard rock. I Yo, heard nobody can break that. that only yeah, like I heard, might. I heard the reason why we don't have like deep layers of soil was because when the ice age came out, the ice literally pushed all the dirt <laughs> down, <laughs> like down south, kind of. Wait, I, I, I love it how you said when the ice age came out, implying that <laughs> <laughs> Earth announces released. ice age too. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, like the newest update. <laughs> ice age. <laughs> update. Ice age. So, so you're saying. That North America built way too close to the bottom of the world. What? In Minecraft terms, once you get too da- too far down, you hit bedrock. And you can't dig through that. Moving on. True. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. On. We're we're on the bedrock. We're actually <laughs> that's why here. we find so many diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So many lava at, pools. Too. We're at Y of negative. 20 or something i don't remember how it worked right curtis minecraft yeah i've totally played minecraft before you've never played it once no you've never not even once no (sighs) no that's a lie i downloaded the demo on 360 i played it for two seconds and then i deleted it you were not interested no Minecraft's not oh. my kind of game. Are you telling me block game didn't make your brain go burr? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Minecraft's not my kind of game. That's why I never uh, picked it up. You're telling what the me. fuck? I just downloaded a PDF by mistake. You're telling me block game didn't make brain go burr. Block game did not make brain go burr. Wow. All right, and that is that it? <laughs> we ended on block game didn't make well. brain go burr. <laughs> I just pulled up a geography th- on the effects of Ice Age on the geography of North America. Yo, like what Sid the Sloth did when he caused yeah. the Ice Age? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know that's true, right, Curtis? Like, Sid for the Sloth example, created the Ice Age. It was a documentary. The Rocky Mountains were formed by a great upheaval of the Earth's crust, which took place about one million years ago. Other mountain oh, ranges in Canada are a hundred times crust? as old as this. It's crazy. It's like um, me- like uh, in northwestern Ontario, there's Mount McKay. There's actually like that mountain region. It's actually like a can, like it used to be a huge mountain region, but because like it's on bedrock, uh, the plates aren't pushing together and it's growing. It won't grow. It's all just decaying and falling apart. So that's why they have like old flat tops and they're all like getting shorter and like shit. Yeah, flat tops. Yeah. But like once upon a time, they were like they could they were bigger. Like, does that mean Saskatchewan goes down because they don't have any mountains? Oh, Saskatchewan is such a slut; it goes down. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> man, another. I know it's unrelated, but Saskatchewan is like, like the Saskatchewan being baddies, but like there's some baddies in uh in Alberta called the Alberta Badlands. <laughs> the Alberta Which Badlands. Is, it's like literally like, where they find like some of the most like, like one of the most like well preserved dinosaur fossils. Oh like, really? In, like in the world. Oh, oh, that's where they fucking. Like, there's like dinosaur museums all throughout the region. Like, oh, what the? I, I just looked this up right now. I didn't know that. Uh, and like, look at the images. Like, they straight up. It looks like a desert. Like. Yeah, exactly. It's weird. Like this is huh. in Canada. Just in Alberta. Yeah. Oh, okay, no. I didn't know that this is. <laughs> I didn't know this is a the, thing. Man, learn God. your country, man. <laughs> yeah, apparently I don't know enough. Yeah, Jesus Curtis, what's shit. the capital of Canada? Ottawa. No, false. Toronto. Toronto is Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Downtown Canada. <laughs> I was wrong. Downtown Canada, yeah, exactly. Literally, everyone's like, every American's like, I've been to Canada. Where you been? Toronto. That's it. It's other cities don't exist. Yeah. Because they're like, I went to where Drake was from. Oh God! That if someone is, said that they would be—I'd be absolutely disgusting. Drake is prime minister of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, Drake is he's Canada. prime minister. He's—he's he's mayor of the six. <laughs> no, he basically owns the Raptors. He is the Raptors. Yeah. Drake no, is Canada. No. <laughs> oh shit! The true out. If you think about how much Drake actually owns in Canadian companies, it's kind of fucked. Yeah, but I mean, like, does shout he, does out, he like, actually? I don't know. Shout out him for like actually like keeping stuff in Canada, though. Yeah. Like, he reps what Canada is it? hard. Um, like, for the Toronto Raptors, they're sponsored by Hexo, which is like a weed company. Um, but basically, the only reason they're sponsored by Hexo is because Drake has so much pull in Hexo. His companies are just funneling more money into his other company. It's just all a money laundering scheme. <laughs> Been exposed. You, you've heard it first here, folks. His rap, oh, shit. his rap is actually just a cover up where he makes the money. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be taken down soon, boys. Sorry, shit. For bringing it up. The FBI is gonna come take us out. Yeah, it's the end. Oh, no. It's the end of the the podcast. If if you had to, it's the end of the podcast until next week. What is it that uh, Edward Snowden did? Well, what's the proper blew, word? He blew the no, uh, yeah, but what, he got ex. No, they want to extradite him. What's the fucking yeah. word? Um, ex- exile. Yeah, he got he, fucking just he got exiled. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get exiled from Canada. Where would you move? Um, assuming you could go anywhere, any, New assuming Zealand. Any, New Zealand. Ship you New out. Zealand. Because yeah. I don't want to learn a new language, so and like also you like learn it, it's just a beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, fuck man, I have to learn New Zealand. I don't know if I can manage that. <laughs> yeah, Zealand. like New Zealand seems cool. Australia, I don't know. Too many America, like, uh, absolutely not. Yeah, Australia too many like exist. fucked animals in Australia, and also like their government's kind of sus. Yes, uh, New Zealand's cool. They're no, Australia they're just doesn't like exist. Us. Maybe I don't, they're probably not yeah. just like us, but they're they're the equivalent. Like Australia is America, and New Zealand is Canada. Like that's the equivalent, you know. Yeah, the little brother kind of. Yeah, they're, they're not the same like culture and country wise, but is yeah. there like that equivalent? And also that Lord of the Rings uh, oh, yeah, reference, you got like, that, that connection. Yeah, go, so go, I got the Lord connection. Go, go to Mount <laughs> Doom. Yeah, <laughs> the Lord. You're into the Lord. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it. Right. Thirty-three done. On that awkward silence. Yeah. The you. awkward silence. I'm gonna edit it that it's even longer. <laughs> oh no. Just edit in like random mouth sounds. Oh no, not mouth sounds. <laughs> like just a couple of breaths, like. <sighs> <sighs> There's actually a couple of mine that just like pick up every once in a while. <sighs> Just a fucking, fucking mouth, mouth like, breather. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you cut them all out and you put them at the end in a montage? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a reason I have a notebook so I don't have to re-listen. Or it's uh, when people make yeah. the edits of just the inhales. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. 
There was one from a debate recently where they did that, and it was fucking hilarious. Man. It's like <laughs> six minutes of a dude fucking like... <gasps> and you watched all of it. I watched yeah. like four minutes of it. It was funny. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.